Hello, so my jamming, drone jamming videos have been doing quite well recently, I believe because of all of the drone stuff that's happening in the States at the minute. Um, and I had a lot of questions that came up in comments on those videos, so I thought I would address them here. The main one was people saying, oh, am I going to do a new version of the drone jamming kit and things like that? Um, I, I might do that, I'm not sure yet, but... Um, I don't think they're the best way to deal with a drone if you're having a problem with a drone. And that's that's what I want to talk about in this uh, video. So a couple, um, yeah, I've had plenty of comments of people asking, you know, will I make a newer up-to-date version of a drone jammer? And, um, you know, would I sell them for a start? No, I'm not going to sell them. Um, that would be illegal, um, at least here where I live. But I want to talk about why a jammer isn't the best way to deal with a drone. Um, now, I haven't seen much about what's going on in the States or what's yeah, any of the videos I've seen. It looks like they're, they're airplanes, but I don't know. I, I've only seen a few things, so I'm not sure what the hell's going on there. But I'm talking this in general terms of like, what could you do if there is a drone in your space, like around your house or something like that, and you, in depending on where you are in the world, you're well within your rights to disable that drone if it's in your private property or over your private property within certain limits and um, you're well within your rights to take it down um, how could you do that and the reason why I don't think a jammer is the way to go is that even commercialized like professional drone jammers aren't that good because most drones um, have like lost signal correction so if they lose a signal they'll either hover until they can get that signal back again or they'll return home okay that's that's what they'll do so it's not going to make the drone drop out of the sky. Um, I did do a video talking about, you know, using a microwave um, a magnetron to like, you know, blast it with RF. But again, that's just a jammer. It's not going to cook anything, which is what people I think thought would happen. Uh, microwave energy actually drops off very, very quickly. So it'll only start actually cooking something if it's pretty close. And if it's that close, hit it with a baseball bat. Um, so jammers are also very uh, destructive in the sense of um or sorry not not destructive very loud i think would be the better term for that and um, they interfere with a lot of things communications um is the big one medical equipment if you're close like mris and things like that use similar frequencies and okay they're usually in shielded rooms but like you can mess with a lot of other things that's going to be impacted more than the drone right and because that's why drones are, sorry, that's why jammers are so heavily regulated because, you know, they, they can cause disruptions to lots of things. Um, and in the case of drone jamming, they're not very effective. I was at a um, security conference and there was a cybersecurity bit and then a like physical security bit. And in the physical security bit, there was, I think it was Toshiba was showing their latest anti-drone stuff. And one of the things they had was a jammer. And I was talking to them about it and I said, oh, well, hey, you know, how do you... Uh, how did you navigate the legalities and make sure that you're only jamming like the thing that you meant to jam and all of this? And uh, they said, oh, we haven't worked that bit out yet. Uh, like, so it's not, not a useful piece of kit then, really, is it? Um, and I've also seen a lot of people with those big like rifle jammer guns. Uh, I, I've never seen a video that doesn't look edited or the drone just sits there or flies back to base when it loses the signal. I don't know. But how do you actually deal with them then? Well, there's been about three sort of tried and tested ways of dealing with a drone. Um, the first one is a net. So a net gun, a gun that shoots a net, it splays out, entangles the drone, the drone drops from the sky. Effective. Um, downside is you need to have a decent aim or have an automated like turret system that will do this. Um, it's fairly safe in that whenever it tangles up the drone, it, it gums up the blades and all of that. So it's going to drop fairly safely. It might hit someone on the head as it comes down, but all things considered, it's fairly inert. If it's a war zone application, then obviously there's the concern if it's carrying ordnance, um, then whenever that drops, it might detonate. But if you're in a war zone, you're in a war zone, better it drops somewhere else than on you. Um, the uh, second way is a anti-drone drone. So this is another drone that's used to intercept that drone. So you know, either it flies in um, and just, just tackles the other drone or has some sort of net and it's sort of below it that it can then capture the drone and bring it back. Again, fairly effective, but also expensive. Then you need to have those drones wherever you need to be. Um, the third one is to shoot the thing down. <laughs> now, if you live in the land of the free, that might be very easy. If you live in other places that don't have the big orange man, 
it might be more difficult for you to get a weapon but here in the uk it's perfectly acceptable to have a shotgun um and the one thing that has been seen to be effective against drones is using like a, a buckshot like um sort of like bird shots so very lots of small lightweight pellets a couple of reasons for this first and foremost is safety you're shooting into the air those bullet those pellets are going to come down somewhere so you need to make sure that they come down safely and aren't potentially harming or damaging something else so um birdshot quite lightweight pellets by the time they lose their momentum from being fired they they drop relatively harmlessly to the ground and it doesn't take much to bring down a drone um you know you most of the um drone is fairly fragile usually from the sense of you know they they need to conserve weight um, and if you hit a battery with uh, one of those pellets or break a propeller, it's all very easy to do. Um, even nicking a wire can be enough to bring them down. Um, and so that's that's a you know an easy way to do it or a way of doing it, I should say. Um, and then also the spread. So again, it makes it easier to actually hit the thing because you've got a spread of buckshot rather than a single round um, trying to hit the thing. And if you were then going into military, so the way I'm talking is from a, a more civilian normal person perspective or if you happen to be in a war zone but don't have access to military grade stuff that's ways that you can deal with them if you're going into military grade then they've they've got a ton of stuff they've got lasers that can blow them down they've got um we call them goalkeepers uh here in the uk i think americans call them phalanx cannons they use them on ships to get rid of missiles they work perfectly fine against drones as well um and so yeah that's that's the ways that you know, really, I think are the effective ways to deal with a drone. A jammer is just an over-engineered way of not being very effective at bringing down a drone. And you see some of these things where they're saying, "Oh, using microwaves, like you know, completely cook them." Um, but if you've seen the video footage of the actual military ones that do that, they are massive, and they have to be because it is a lot of energy to actually cook something at that distance it's actually much easier to use a laser to do it um from an energy perspective than trying to do those like you know uh, microwave style attacks because as i say um the energy from a microwave actually drops off very very quickly um, and plenty of videos and stuff on 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 that i think i did one a few years ago um electro broom has some cool ones where he's you know showing the uh, magnetron off and he's sitting right beside the thing perfectly fine you know so the energy needs to be quite contained to actually start heating things and doing damage in that way so if you have any other ideas that you think of how you can deal with drones or anything like that uh, put them below if you've got any uh, weird and wonderful solutions that you've discovered uh, put it down below and if you want me to do a up-to-date jammer video yep comment it below i will i will do it but bear in mind it's um it's not an effective way of dealing with drones See you.